Hello everybody and welcome back to Maisie's Garden. This is a general collective reading for the sign of Libra. This could resonate with your sun, moon, rising, and or Venus sign or any prominent placement in Libra that you have in your chart. If you do not know um, anything about your chart or want to know more about your chart, please email me or... Um, or get a hold of me through my other social media. The links are in the description box below. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like and um, share this video wherever you can. You never know who needs to hear these messages. Um, if this does not resonate with you, please check the other signs of your chart. And like I said, if you don't know what those are, um, reach out to me and we can help. I can help you figure it out. Um, my my bookings are open for readings and Reiki services. So again, reach out to me if that's something that you're interested in. If you feel like this did resonate with you or you wanted to get um, a little bit more of a personal reading, feel free to reach out. Um, my prices are pretty affordable. Um, how are you guys doing, Libra? We're in Libra season. Happy birthday to all my Librans out there. We have Mercury retrograde in Libra. We've got a lot going on. We just had a full, I mean, a new moon in Libra um, back a couple days ago. So we're really, really in your energy here. So I'm going to do about three more shuffles. And then we're going to get into it. Um, the crystal grid is up. I know you guys can see like a part of it here. Uh, but go ahead and go on to my Instagram or my Facebook to check it out. You'd have to scroll down a little bit because I have been uploading a lot. If you guys want more, uh, di um, shorter messages, I am uploading on my TikTok and my, uh, Facebook and my Instagram, uh, far more often than I upload on here. Um, just because it's easier to get shorter messages out there. So please, please, please come find me there um and become part of the extended garden all right libra let's see what we got going on here for you what do we have for libra i'm gonna do a layout we're gonna talk about it i'm gonna clarify it and then we're gonna keep moving on from there so let's see oh wow okay okay Interesting, Libra. You have a, a lot of major arcanas in this spread, which means this is this is huge for you. This is a big moment. I don't want to say moment, but this is the energy here is really big. Okay, um, there must be a lot of uh, stuff going on in your life, or whatever. However, this resonates to you, whatever situation that you're in, it's a big moment. It's it's. Um, it's something that is impacting you and it's something substantial, okay? Because these are, and they're like the, you know, big heavy hitters here. Okay, so the overall um, energy is the three of swords. This talks about sadness, heartbreak. Um, somebody could have really hurt you. There's just an air of a lot of sadness and heartbreak going on. This also could uh, pertain to a 30, third party situation. Um, and however that resonates, please only take what resonates, okay? Um, but there's just some kind of pain going on. And we're going to clarify that. I'm gonna, I want to dive deeper into that and see, you know, why this pain is happening. Like, what's going on here? Um... I just feel like there's like a lot of sadness. The Queen of Wands is underneath that and the Hierophant. So this possibly could be with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, some type of commitment um, that you were in possibly. Um, doesn't have to be though. Um, but there's just like a lot of sadness going on here and um, just a lot of heartbreak, things that you've, you've felt like just really stabbed in the back. Um, Okay, we're going to move on from that energy because it's he heavy energy. Because the rest of this spread 
it's great. You might have be going through something really heavy right now, but the rest of this spread is like really good. Like the energy is really good. You are going to be moving through whatever this pain and heartbreak is fairly, I want to say like victoriously. That's the word that came to me. Okay. So your current situation is temperance. This talks about patience. This talks about balance. This talks about, to me, energetically, um, this also brings in healing because of this. It's like a guardian angel here, right? Pouring into oneself. Um, really taking the time to, and that's where the patience comes in. Really taking the time to pour into yourself. Uh, you know, Especially if you've been having some kind of heartbreak or there's been some kind of heaviness going on, you are really um, taking the time for yourself. Uh, you could also be, um, this is also Sagittarius energy. Okay, so that could be in your chart or you could be connecting with somebody that has Sagittarius energy. Um, there's actually a lot of energy out here and I'll... I'll you know, go to them as they come. Um, but patience is really what I was getting at here and some healing. Um, a lot of healing. And it's being challenged by the Page of Wands. So some kind of news, some kind of communication, something, some kind of information that is being brought up or you're hearing about something Typically, it's good news, um, but there's some type of news, and again, we'll clarify it, but there's some type of news or communication, um, possibly from a fire sign or about a fire sign that is disrupting this, this healing, okay? Or you're just very, um, or you're just really in an energy where you're you're really moving forward in the and being patient but you're moving forward in this healing in being um optimistic is also what i'm getting off of this so that could be for some of you here okay your hopes and your uh, goals is the page of cups this is loving communication this is um someone coming in with like an offer of love or communicating love or even not even coming in with an offer of love because that's more of like the knight of cups energy this is more about communication of love this is more about being open and honest about your emotions this is also talks about uh talking to yourself more lovingly having more positive self affirmations really pouring love into yourself okay as well and you see how there's like a fish in here. So really allowing yourself to be a little bit more um, open and flowing with positive self-talk, positive communication. Um, you're hoping that somebody comes in and maybe expresses themselves. Okay. In the past here, we have the star card. This is Aquarius energy. The star card talks about wish fulfillment talks about healing right so you got two cards out here to me that's healing there's actually one more card that talks about healing out here so this is a major healing moment for you you're going through a huge cycle of pouring into yourself really taking the time to figure out what it is that's going to make you happy right but in the past you felt like something was a, a wish fulfillment for you or something that um really made you happy or you started pouring back into yourself and really started on this healing journey yeah just be careful that you're being um you see how in this card they're like She's pouring back in, but then she's like pouring over here. Just be careful what you are pouring yourself into. Okay. But, um, yeah, a lot of 
healing energy here. You might have started like a healing journey because of some type of heartbreak, right? Some type of news maybe that you got that you were being patient and you got some type of news and it really started you on a healing journey. Your strength is the five of cups. I'm sorry. This is not the five of cups. This is the six of cups. I don't know why when that first came out, I saw five of cups. So you might right now feel like you're in a place of lack or you feel abandoned on some level. Um, even though that's not what this card means, uh, you might be energetically feeling that way, Libra. So, um, just keep that in mind. Um, but this is the six of cups. This is, uh, talks about nostalgia, talks about the past, talks about past life, uh, situations or relationships, strong, uh, strong soul connections, right? Childhood memories, um, but it also really talks about, um, being able to pour into oneself again is what I'm getting here. Um, being able to offer love in a very innocent way here. It's like, you're still open to love no matter what's happened in your life. You're still, um, hopeful and willing to be open to love entering your life or having a connection, even if something may have hurt you in the past, okay? Which is a really beautiful energy to be in. Hold on just one second. It's a really, really beautiful energy to be in. Hold on. I just want to see something. Because I often... Yeah, I wanted to go back to this because I feel like you're waiting for some type of communication or some type of news. I really, really do feel like that's, you're like waiting for that. You're, you're waiting for something here. That's heavy what I was getting in here. Um, but you're really willing to stay open. But you, your strength is being able to reflect on the past, being able to see the past for what it is, right? And acknowledging past behaviors, but because of that, you're still open to love, all right? I just wanted to check in on that. Um, your immediate future is the judgment card. This is like so crazy to me this is this talks about renewal this talks about major decisions this talks about the divine coming in and almost kind of like whistleblowing on something like giving you giving you something here um <clears throat> this also could talk about reconciliations or something coming back around again okay so when we clarify we'll see but heavily, this talks about like a renewal for me. And again, I feel like you're really in this heavy um, healing energy. So in the immediate future, you're going to feel very renewed. You're going to feel like you've transformed and allowed this renewal to happen, allowed yourself um, to really, I don't know, transform is what I'm getting. And usually I don't get that off that card, but really transform. Um, yeah, there's some, some type of change that's going to be coming in some type of renewal, but it's, it's like, I feel like it's on your level. Like you really, um, make a decision and it's, and it's like a final decision. It's something that's going to stick and, and just be there. Okay. All right. And then the outcome is the hermit. This is Virgo energy. Oh, and judgment to me, uh, is very, um, like Scorpionic 
and Aquarius energy. I don't know. Energetically, that's what I feel. So we have two Aquarius. But anyway, the Hermit is Virgo energy. And the Hermit talks about spirituality. It talks about going within. Um, it, it is a very uh, singular journey. So it's you and yourself. It's very independent. It's not something where you do with somebody else. It's about going within, working on your shadow side, really tapping into your spirituality, really um, allowing healing to go on. This was the third card I was talking about with healing. Okay, there is major healing going on and especially with the outcome and you're growing wiser because of it. You are gaining some type of really infinite wisdom, almost like sage type wisdom. Okay, because of this situation that you are going through, whatever it is that has happened or transpired for you. And again, this is like a general reading. So all the situations are going to be different for everybody, right? So apply it to however it resonates with you. But you really are going within and... Oop, hold on one second. A whole chunk just fell. These are my clarifying cards. Um... You really are going within and allowing yourself to uh, so the hermit talks about going on this journey, right? And you can't see the the step ahead of you. It's like the um, the universe, uh, spirit, you know, God, however source, however you connect, right? only shows you each step along the way so that you're not rushing through anything. It's a deep dive, okay? You are going to dive very deeply into spirituality and possibly do a lot of shadow work here. So I'm saying there's like some type of renewal with you here in the immediate future. You've been very patient. You've been really allowing yourself... Um, to heal from whatever heartbreak and sadness that you've been going through. And, you know, whatever news that you had gotten that possibly really wasn't the best of news maybe or something that might have made you feel kind of restricted or um, just not in a good place, all right? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just feeling like you really have a good grip on what was going on in the past and you're just allowing yourself really to heal right now. Move moving forward and in, in, in healing. There might be some type of communication coming in and we're gonna see. Okay, Spirit, let's clarify this Three of Swords. Please tell me about the Three of Swords. Clarify the Three of Swords for my Libras. The Ten of Shells and the Page of Acorns. So this is the Ten of Cups and the Page of Wands, again, showing itself here. Um, there was something that you felt was your wish fulfillment and you were really in it to win it okay and it made you why is there heartbreak attached to this can i have one more please something from your something made you feel like you had wish fulfillment again in the past here i feel like maybe if you were connected with somebody or something that made you feel like you had wish fulfillment something you really wanted and it didn't work out is really what I'm feeling here. Something didn't work out. All right, nothing else wants to come out. Yeah, it could have been a relationship. Right, with, with um, a fire sign um, that you felt like was wish fulfillment. Maybe you got... Or maybe, you know, you got communication that somebody, I don't even feel like it's that. 
I don't know, you could have discovered. I don't know, I felt like I feel like you really thought you found your wish fulfillment, but there's some kind of heartbreak associated with it. There's some type of pain. I don't think I feel like it didn't work out. And it caused you a lot of heartbreak. Okay, what is this? Three of shells, three of cups, yeah. There could have been a third party situation here where you um or you might have gotten information about a third party situation or found out that somebody else could be in, in another relationship now and it caused a lot of pain for you. It caused you to go really like in and a lot of sadness. And I'm sorry if that's happening for you. Libra, because that's never anything that feels good. Um, yeah, I feel like, though, that you had thought you had found your wish fulfillment and it made you really happy. But something ended here and it caused a lot of heartbreak and pain. Okay. Tell me about temperance, spirit. Tell me about temperance. That's too many. I'm going to keep that one. Tell me about temperance here. Tell me about temperance, please. Tell me about temperance. Okay. Okay. So the sun. Ten of acorns, which is the ten of wands. And the five of acorns, which is the five of wands. So with temperance, right, this patience, right, um, a little bit of resistance, a little bit of, um, I feel like there was, you became illuminated or you are having epiphanies on these burdens and conflict, okay? You are, hold on one second, guys. Let me turn on my light because I realize there's a little bit of darkness Okay, just so when you see the cards, you can actually see them. Okay, much better. Um, I feel like you're realizing and you're trying to have patience through this clarity, this illumination, these epiphanies that you're having about things that were really um, weighing you down, causing a lot of conflict, right? You, I feel like you're trying to heal yourself through that. Something that made you, like I said, there was something that made you really happy was also very burdensome and had a lot of conflict connected to it. And I feel like you were, you know, trying, you're trying to be very patient through this. To try to find your happiness again. But it, it's, you, you you really are feeling like, do you see like how hard, you see how the anguish, right? You just feel challenged by it. But I feel like you are dedicated to this growth. You are dedicated to being able to find this happiness and having patience to move through this. Okay? Okay. Let's see how the Page of Wands challenges this. Tell me about the Page of Wands, Spirit. Tell me about the Page of Wands here. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Okay. The Eight of Shells, which is the Eight of Cups. <clears throat> And the Queen of Crystals, which is the Queen of Pentacles, which is an Earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Taurus. You walked away from something that felt uh, very stable or you, in walking away, you um, found your grounding and your footing. But the Page of Wands talks about some kind of news. You're, I don't know if you're getting news that somebody walked away. 
or there's just news getting out or there's just information getting out that you've walked away. There's a level of walking away, leaving things emotionally here and really finding your finding your stability. This healing that you were going through, these burdens, the things that made you happy, but there was a lot of conflict. Um, there was some kind of communication or news that came in that you or somebody you were connected to walked away. Okay. And I feel like that's what's been really difficult for you. And maybe that's why you're hoping for some kind of communication, some kind of loving communication, some kind of emotional talk. Because somebody walked away. Libra. Hmm. Whether that be you walking away, and, and even though you maybe you had the epiphany that this thing this was very there's a lot of conflict. It was really heavy. There was a lot of burdens and you needed to walk away, right? Maybe because of a third party situation and, you know, that news made it so that you had to walk away and find your stability. Okay. You had to find your grounding again, your footing, right? Hmm. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Get some flip. Four of Crystals, which is the Four of Pentacles, and the Six of Crystals, which is the Six of Pentacles. So the Six of Pentacles talks about... Um, a give and take. It also could talk about a one-sided relationship. It also could talk about being breadcrumbed, something that wasn't balanced and equal, giving too much and someone taking a lot but not giving in return. Okay? And Four of Crystals talks about holding back. So I feel like you... Are wishing and hoping for some type of communication but are being either breadcrumbed or you feel like either you or somebody else is holding back from this from this communication there's a lot of like self-control going on here I don't know if you're controlling yourself from reaching out and saying something and telling somebody how you feel or this is the other person but there's a lot of restraint here but something wasn't balanced, okay? Something was very restricted. There was a very one-sided relationship or situation where you weren't getting what you needed out of it. I feel like somebody was giving to somebody else. They're also, or you're wishing and hoping for a communication that somebody stopped giving to somebody else, right? You're hoping and praying that Somebody comes in and tells you, I stopped giving to this other person and I want to be with you. Um, and I feel like that's um, a really tough place to be in, Libra. It's a very tough place to be in and I'm sorry if you are feeling that way. But you are it's like you're hoping for communication or some type of something to come in here. Um, where they're telling you that they've stopped or somebody's hoping this about you, that you come in and say that you, that you've, you know, you're going to stop breadcrumbing or you're going to stop. If you're breadcrumbing somebody, please stop. That's, it's not, it's not mentally healthy. It's very, it destroys people's mental health. Um, Yeah, this is, I 
I'm really feeling like you're hoping that somebody comes in and says that they've, they've stopped giving to somebody else or they're, 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 you know, finally willing to give you what you've put out. Okay. Let's go to the past here with the star card. What was, what's, what's the past here for Libra? What was the past here for Libra? I just heard it's really about to tell me the story here. These three flipped out at once. Ten of feathers. <sighs> this is the ten of swords. Five of shells. Five of cups. Four of feathers. Four of swords. With the seven of crystals. This is the seven of pentacles. So... This right here tells me that in the past, you started healing yourself from some type of extremely major betrayal. You are backstabbed. If this is, has to do with somebody else, there was a third party situation. You found out somebody was giving to somebody else and you had to walk away. It became very burdensome. There was a lot of third party energy somebody not really giving to the situation that you needed to, even if you felt like it was um, some form of wish fulfillment for you. Um, this person was not giving to you the way that you were giving to them and you had to walk away. And it was really hard to accept that reality is what I'm hearing. And you had to pull back and it created a lot of, um, sadness within you, but this is what I love about these cards because these cards are so positive, even if they're bad card, like, you know, cause the 10 of swords is like, I don't want to say it's a bad card, but it's, it's a hurtful card, right? With the three of swords and the 10 of swords out here, it's a lot of pain. It's a lot of betrayal, right? There's a snake there, but this says recovery and transformation. And that's what I was getting. Like you really made the choice to renew yourself. Okay. You're making the choice to transform here that's what I was getting heavily before that right and this says hope and readjustment and even though you may be sad um and regretful that you put that you endured that situation that you put yourself in a situation like that that you allowed yourself to be in a situation like that you are taking the time to pour back into oneself to rest and readjust and hope and pray that good things will come for you right and you're starting seven of crystals this is options and results seven of pentacles this is about planting seeds and then reaping what you sow so you're really taking the time to think about what it is that you want here really taking the time this is in the past though you took time for yourself okay you're taking, and I, I, I'm even feeling like this is still, you're in, you're still in this current energy, okay? That you're taking time for yourself and you're really allowing yourself to move through this and heal yourself, okay? And you're also starting to really think about what is actually going to make you happy. What is your true wish fulfillment? Because you had thought that this could be your wish fulfillment before, but it caused a lot of pain. So now you have to reevaluate. Okay. And now you have to recover from this pain. And, and I think you're doing so beautifully. I think that you're allowing yourself to feel what needs to feel. You're really putting in the work. Okay. You're really putting in the work. Which is beautiful, Libra. Keep doing that. Okay. Keep going. Your strength here with the six of cups, right? You're still open to love. You see the past very clearly, and you're still open to love. So let's see. Clarify the Six of Cups. Clarify the Six of Cups. You're not letting this past betrayal, this past hurt, jade you into um, being bitter and resentful because you're doing the healing. It's beautiful, Libra. Six of Cups, please. Spirit, tell me about the Six of Cups. 
in the Six of Cups. There we go. We have the Seven of Shells, which is the Seven of Cups. So this talks about choices and ambitions, right? Options. Um, you are not confused, nor do you have illusions about the past. And then the Queen of Shells. This is the Queen of Cups. Peace, compassion. Like I'm saying, you are keeping yourself... Oh, this is... Ugh. God, I love that I can feel this energy. You are keeping yourself open and to love. I told you that is your strength. You are not letting this jade you and you are keeping yourself open and hopeful to love. Okay, that's exactly what this means to me. You're keeping your op like the option open to being able to love again. You're not allowing this the past. You're seeing it very clearly. Okay? And and it's almost like you in healing this and allowing this it to heal. You're allowing yourself to open your heart chakra and make peace with the past. Wow, this is beautiful energy. I feel like this is what you're going through right now, okay? That you're coming on this tail end of healing and you're really starting to make peace with the past here. And you're, and you're allowing yourself to be open to this. Because this, I feel, is like heavy past energy. Like, you already you already saw what, what the, the, you know, the bullshit, okay? You already, the betrayal has already happened. That's past energy. And I feel like currently you're still in this healing energy. But you are making strides here, Libra. I am proud of you. You are so strong. This is so lovely. Okay. Yeah, I don't need more for this. This is like you just being open. That's your strength. Is that you still have the capacity to love and you didn't let this harden you. Getting a little emotional here. I, d I don't have any Libra in my chart, but like this is very... You should be very proud of yourself, Libra. Okay, judgment in your immediate future. That is way too many cards. <laughs> so let's try that again. There we go. Oh my goodness gracious. Two of feathers, decisions, direction, right? Uh, this is the two of swords. This is um, you making a decision. This is, okay, so the two of swords by judgment. This is you coming out of indecision. You seeing things very clearly here. And then it's the two of shells. This is the two of cups. You could have to make a decision about a reconciliation here. Or you have to make a decision because maybe the divine uh, steps in and offers you some type of new connection. And you have to make a decision. Am I ready for this? This, But this could be a reconciliation. This could be somebody, you know, ha wanting to come in and reconcile with you. And you have to make a decision on if this is something that you want to do. This is the number 20 and this is two and two. So two, two, two might be something of significance for you. But this is you really deciding here, making a final decision on this connection. This is like finalization. There's no more confusion or indecisiveness about this connection. Give me just one more. I'm curious. Give me one more, please, about this judgment. Can I have one more about the judgment, please? Please tell me. Oh, well, I just wanted one more. Okay, but I wanted to know more. So the six of shells, yeah, the past. Six of acorns, six of wands, and the traveler. Wow. This is uh, either a really strong soulmate connection, okay? 
Um, and you're going to have a lot of victory in a brand new beginning. Here. I got chills when, when all this came out. There's a, there's, there is a, there's going to be a lot of joy, a lot of potential. You're going to feel like this is going to be an adventure of a lifetime. And this decision that you make is about a love connection. Something's going to present itself to you in the immediate future here, Libra, and you are going to have to make a decision and it'll be a final decision. And the six of shells coming out again. So this is the six of cups. This is somebody that you feel a very strong connection to. And it could be somebody from the past. You could be reconciling with somebody from the past and deciding to move forward in victory, right? It's going to be actually quite, um, quite victorious, brand new beginning, brand new energy. Wow. And I think it's because you've been doing this healing, the outcome, the hermit, Virgo energy. Let's see. Let's see how this plays out. Cause that's like independent energy, really tapping into your spirituality. The emperor. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. And then the judgment card came out again. Renewal, enlightenment, focus, stability. You're going to be spiritually led to your person. This outcome is going to be great. This person is going to be spiritually inclined. You guys are going to have a, a very deep spiritual connection. This is going to be stable. This is going to bring you to new heights is what I'm feeling here, Libra. Wow. Could be Aries energy. Okay. I also get Capricorn with the Emperor. It's the boss, right? So Aries Capricorn energy. Me, intuitively as a reader. Um, Scorpio, Libra, you are going to be coming back together and if it, even if this is not somebody from the past, this is a past life connection. So when I say coming back together, it's like you are meeting this person again for the, I mean, meeting this person for the first time in this lifetime, but you guys are coming back together again because it's a past life connection. It's a very strong, divinely guided soul me. I'm hearing soul tie. You guys will have a soul tie. This is a very strong connection. Wow. And even if this has nothing to do with somebody else, you are going to be tapping into the most power that you've ever had through your spirituality. It's like you are going to rise again as an emperor, as a boss, as a leader. Because you are, again, staying open and, and seeing and recognizing the past for what it is and allowing yourself to pour love into yourself, find victory in this new beginning. There's a brand new beginning coming for you in your immediate future, Libra, and I am so happy for you, especially since the past energy feels really heavy. It feels really painful. It feels like you were really betrayed and hurt, but that is not what you are stepping into. This is gorgeous. Bottom of the deck, king of acorns, king of wands. Okay, so again, fire energy. Really could have like heavy Aries placements because the traveler to me, the fool, is also Aries to me. A lot of earth and fire energy. So a person could have earth or fire in their chart. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is beautiful. I'm so excited for your guys' future. Fuck that past. Seriously, Libra, fuck that past. Keep yourself open, keep healing because what's coming in for you, ooh, honey, ooh. It's giving me chills. It's amazing.
I'm so happy for you guys. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm so proud of you guys. I wish nothing but the best for you. You guys need to uh, want to dive further into this and feel like you need a personal reading. Um, please reach out to me. My email's in the description box below. There's a link for my social media, which you can also reach out to me through. Um, if this did not resonate with, with you, please check the other signs of your chart. I love you guys so much. And until I see you guys again, have a good one, Libra.